Hey, what is up YouTube? What's happening guys? As you can see, the come up was real at the thrift store this time and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. But before I do, let me do a quick outfit of the day. Let's start from the feet. On the feet, we are rocking the OG 1990 Air Jordan 5 grapes. It is not a retro, it is the original. For today's choice of shorts, we are rocking Tommy Hilfiger jean shorts. And as you guys can already tell, I am wearing that YSL V-neck shirt. <laughs> and that was the full outfit of the day. Okay, so before we begin this trip to the thrift, just like in all my videos before we start, I just wanna speak to you all for a second. I just wanna send positive vibes to you all and I hope all you guys are having a great day so far. But if you're not having a great day so far and you feel like the things in your life aren't going so well, you can still choose to turn it all around. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. What I mean is this. Sure, I get it. Most of the things in our lives, we can't control. Most of it is out of our hands. So stop stressing and worrying about it. Like I said, most of the things in this world and in our lives, we can't control. The only things we can control are our own choices and decisions. With that said, attitude is a choice. It all boils down to one thing, perspective. I mean, I know we hear it all the time and it sounds really cliche, but the thing about truths is that truths don't change. So like I said, it's all about perspective. You can choose to look at the glass like it's half full, or you can choose to look at the glass like it's half empty. For me, I choose to look at the glass like it's half full. In our lives where it feels like life hands us a lot of L's, and it feels like we have more losses than wins, never let the negativity get the best of you. Don't let it eat you up alive. Don't stay down and out and don't stay defeated. But if you do find yourself in that place where you feel like you're down and out, don't give up. Change your mindset, change your attitude, and change your perspective. Get back up and keep moving. Roll with the punches, man, and keep going. Okay, so that was really long, I know. So if you forget everything I say in this whole video, I just want you guys to remember one thing and one thing only. You can still choose to turn it all around because at the end of the day, attitude is a choice. Just do it. <laughs> hey, but that's so true though, right? All right, so fasten your seatbelts and hold on to your hats, boys, because I'm taking you guys with me on this trip to the thrift. And we found that guest jeans v-neck for only $2.99. Definitely gonna get this. Polo Sport, Polo Jeans Company. It's only a dollar and 99 cents, size medium, with that reflective Polo Jeans patch. Gains. <laughs> no way guys, I am super hyped. I just found a baby Milo Bape piece at the thrift. Check the tag, tag Bape, made in Japan, size small. Bape on the sleeve. That's what I'm talking about and I got it for only 149. All right guys, we're back in my room and as you guys saw in the vid, we got a lot of good come ups at the thrift this time. And besides the things that you guys already saw in the vid, I also thrifted like four Batman shirts. But they're not for me, they're for my bro AJ. The reason why is because this guy is crazy about Batman. He's the biggest Batman fan ever. I mean, this dude's gonna go bananas once he sees what I hooked him up with. All right, once we get to this dude's house, I'm gonna show you guys his room so you can see what I mean. See you guys there. What did you? Oh, They're just a bunch of thrifts, man. But I hope you like it. No, this is dope. It's like a bunch of Batman thrift. And I know you said you like. That's like the original logo. Yeah, right? I like this one. Thanks, man. What? Who like this one? When it comes to thrifts, guys, dude, how you can't many just did keep you get? Yourself. You gotta hook the homies. How many did you get, dude? It was four. Hey. What the heck? Oh, that's sweet. The Gotham show. That's so sick. Thanks, man. Yeah. What? This Arkham. Dude, this one's pretty sick. It's oh, not Batman. Bartman. I used to love yeah, this game. Yeah, the Bartman. Hey, look at this. Bartman. Jack Thanks, bro. Definitely, dude. You're the best. Thanks, man. <laughs> this guy. Thanks for all this stuff again. Oh, no, for sure, bro. Did you like it? Yes. Yes, dude. I love Batman. I love all the stuff you got me. Yeah. Hey, could you could you bring me next time you go? Let's do it, it man. Let's when are you it. free? Uh, next week. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, bro. Definitely. Thanks. Catch it, bro. Right, Peace. Thanks a lot, bro. Yep. What's up, guys? This is my mom right here. Oh, just in case you guys were wondering. Hello. Check her out in the vintage, very nice guest sport hat. Hey. Cool, huh? Well, me and her are over here at the next thrift. It's about to be a good time. I'm gonna show you guys what we find. Let's see what's inside. All right. Time. 
Mighty Ducks, Mighty Ducks, please. Oh, look at that patchwork and embroidery. You gotta love the attention to detail. Check the thread count, gotta get it. All right, we just got out of the Goodwill. Got my mom in the back. You got some stuff? Yes. You already know. And we got our bag full of goodies right here. And I'll show you guys at the end of the recap what we got. See you at the next thrift. Peace. We're over here live at the thrift and over here we find a vintage original chalk line, San Francisco. And you see the big 49ers on the back. Also guys, I'm crazy hyped about this because I found a World Champs Los Angeles Lakers 1980 jacket. This thing's amazing. All right, let's pick this guy up. Hey, Jay. What's up, Joe? What's up, bro? How you doing? Come in. Are you ready for today, man? Right, let's get out of here. Let's go to the first thrift. Yeah, man. Let's do it. All right, what's up, YouTube? We're over here at the Thrift in Valley. At the Thrift, we find that very nice Tommy Hilfiger cream sweater. Other than that, we also see not a good competition. And we also found a LeBron James Nike shirt. And last but not least, this was the find of the day for this thrift right here. Vintage Baltimore Bullets, Chris Webber jersey, the 395. Must cop, let's get it. And over here, we found a Polo Sport Ralph Lauren. Look at that furry carpet. It reminds me of the Air Jordan 8 Tongue Hardwood Classics. And then right here at the thrift, guys, we found a Chicago Bulls starter jacket. You see the Bulls patchwork right there. And then if we check out the back, the starter patch on the top. Big Bull logo across the back. Pretty cool to find that in the thrift. All right, guys, so this is crazy. I found a pair of Air Jordan 6 infrareds, and it was like hidden under a pile of shoes. And it's honestly still wearable, like a pressing on it, and the air bubble is pretty firm as well. Found a pair of Air Jordan 1s. It's a 2001 pair of metallic silver. Look at that, numbered. Crazy to find that at the thrift. Over here at round two Hollywood and I'm going to sell some of this stuff stuff I thrifted some stuff from my personal collection it's all gonna be for sale but one thing I'm really sad to part is my OG 1985's OG Air Jordan ones these things are some 30 plus year old shoes my favorite Air Jordan ones of all time but this pair means a lot to me because I remember it's when I wasn't working and I really worked hard to get it. I'm going to be sad to see these things go. All right, where are we? Round two. We're over here at round two Hollywood and we just thrifted a bunch of stuff. Uh, we sold all this stuff together for almost like 350 to $400. We only spent like maybe less than 80 to 100. But it goes to show that thrifting does work, man. It's definitely a grind. It's definitely a hustle, but it pays out at the end. And then there you go. It pays. And then right here, we got a pair of 1985 Air Jordan 1s. Sold out for nine bills. But yeah, there you have it. All right, we're over here at round two. You, got you already know what time there. it is. Round two, 7320 Melrose. There we're it here. Is. We're waiting for it. Just bring it all. The most all heat, it. the most heat in LA. Best store in LA. We're trying, we're trying. I don't know. <laughs> That's a big claim, but we are trying. It is, man. Check it out. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Definitely. Round two, baby. Man. What's up, Joe? There we go. Going up. One day she'll smile. Cheers. Thanks for taking me with you, man. 
Hey, I had a good time. What'd you think? Dude, how was your first like real thrifting experience? We went to like how many thrifts today? Four or five? It's hard work. We finished our day at round two. Thrifting definitely pays off, man, because at the end of the day, look how much I made. Bam! $1,250 round two Hollywood. It's hard work, man. LA. Crooks and Castles, Chicago Bulls jersey, number 23, gets a Michael Jordan. It is faded, but it's only $7.95. I'm gonna get it. Wu-Tang. As you can see, the ghost face killer right there. This one's gonna be for the personal collection. Mickey Mouse in the house. You've been over here for $9.95. Tommy Hill figure, size medium, must cop. And check what I find. Check out that embroidery in the gold. And that floral pattern in the back. I'm taking this off the rack. Guys, I'm super hungry. I'm super tired from looking through the thrifts. And I was about to leave, but I'm like, not just yet, not too soon, because look what I found over here, maroon. In the racks, we find that vintage Tommy, $5.95. And look at that big flag across the chest, across the breast. You got that TH running down the sleeve, gotta get it. If you find a piece that's sticking out like a sore thumb, don't be dumb, check it out. Because over here, we find that Los Angeles Lakers vintage piece in that leather. Looking real nice with that dope patchwork on the back. Anyways, look what I came up with at the thrift. Polo Spell Out by Ralph Lauren. Today's 50% off, so I'm getting for $5.50. All right, next thrift store, let's do this. Looking through the collections behind the counter, look what we find. All right, what's up, Emery? Yo. Hey, dude, we're like matching. We're both wearing gray. <laughs> we just came out of the thrift store, and we got some finds right here. Hold this real quick, Emery. Good stuff, man. Let's show them what we found. Right. What do we got here? We got dope right here. But oh, but right. this is the find of the day. Show them what we found Woo. at this thrift store back here, three-way thrift, up here in Chino. Woo! Magic Johnson, right. the grail piece. Hey. All right, guys, we're just looking for the Yo. next thrift. This is more of Emery's hood and trying to check out these different thrift stores in the area over here. Oh. Is that is that the thrift store over there? All right, we'll see you guys in there. Sick find, as well as next to the threes. I'll pass on the threes, but this I definitely will get. Got, I got a pair of Air Jordan 13s from 2004 and a few shirts as well. Emery, what'd you get, man? It was dude. his first time going to the thrift with me. Yeah, dude. And we found some good stuff. He was It was actually on his list to find some uh, cool flannels yeah. and plaid shirts. Hey. Yeah. Welcome back. Now time for the recap. Let's get into it. Let's start with the kicks. All right, so starting off, right off the bat, we thrifted a pair of Air Jordan 6 infrareds in that nice black and infrared colorway. And these are the first retro from 2000. There's a Nike check air on the back and it is a men's size seven. These were supposed to be $70, but we got it half off. So we only thrifted it for 35 bucks. And moving along, next up, the thing shining in your face is a pair of metallic silver Air Jordan 1s. I mean, look at that leather quality though. And there's that Air Jordan Wings logo we all love. Let me give you guys a quick all around view of the shoe. It's 100% stars, no heel drag. Now these were supposed to be $35, but we got it half off as well. And these are a men's size seven and a half. What? Yup, that's right. We thrifted a pair of Air Jordan 13 flints. These are not the newer pair. This is the 2004 in flints. And there's those holograms just staring at you. We thrifted this for only $6.98. And yes, these are in very good shape as well. Size at three youth. And here's the last pair of kicks that we thrifted for this thrift haul. A pair of brand new low top black leather Converse. And I thrifted that only for $19.95. Unbelievable scorn and he's soaring like Jordan. Just as you guys saw earlier in the vid, I thrifted that Michael Jordan with that cursive Chicago writing. It, and it is a youth size medium. Yes, obviously it is super faded, but I only thrifted that for $7.95, eight bucks. Another one. Here's another MJ jersey, but not Michael Jordan, but another legend, Magic Johnson. One of my favorite Lakers of all time. It is a vintage champion jersey. It is a size 44, a super sick thrift score. Hey, Worthy, I see you. 
Time out. Let's get into the teas. Ooh, gains, bro. I'm just messing around. We found that very clean black and white undefeated shirt. You see that undefeated number five on the back? The five stars on the deltoid. And it is a size large. We only thrifted it for $2.99. And next up, check out this wild, wild thornberry shirt. Nickelodeon, the wild thornberries. And check out this crazy print. Each diamond is a different animal. Here's a monkey, here's a snake, giraffe, gator, the whole animal kingdom. Yes, sir, polo jeans, Ralph Lauren, size medium, only $1.99. Yes, jeans, and it is a v-neck, it is an extra large, thrifted it for $2.99. Because finding something like this in a thrift store is like finding a needle in a haystack, if you know what I mean. Bam, here we have it, a baby Milo by a bathing ape shirt. It's brand new without the tags. Peep the tag, made in Japan, size small. There's that baby Milo monkey in the middle. And around the ring, you, you see the crazy designs. A super crazy find, and we found that at the thrift store. Next up, it reads D-O-P-E, that spells dope. And this is definitely a dope shirt with that snake skin print. It was a size large, two bucks. This polo spell out is in that red, white, and blue American colorway. Very patriotic. And the coolest part is I found this on the 4th of July. It reads $10.99, but as mentioned earlier in the video, I got it for half off. <laughs> Swag. Check out the Tommy Hilfiger flag. We got the TH Tommy Hilfiger running down the sleeve from the deltoid going down to the biceps all the way down to the forearms. This piece is sweet. The ghost face killer. How do I look? As you guys seen in the video, we found that Ghostface Killer Wu-Tang shirt. See the mask right there? That W Wu-Tang on the tag. And that was only three bucks. If you guys don't really know about basketball, this is a team from the Drew League. The Drew League in Compton, California is one of the best leagues in the country. And it was pretty great because I only got it for $1.98. So lately in the thrift, I'd be feeling like I have good luck because inside the thrift found that vintage Mighty Duck sweatshirt lee sports it is a size xl it doesn't fit me unfortunately but if it fits you hit me up in the comments seven bucks mighty ducks and this jacket was super nice i had to get it only six bucks it's not like a popular brand or anything but i just thought it was super cool like i always say it's not all about getting the name brand stuff sometimes the coolest things you find are not even name brand or not even popular or not even trending but if it's super nice go ahead and get it next is that pinstripe blue ribbon sports jacket that i found there's that brs tag right there and behind it is that nike check right there nike only seven bucks and it's always a crazy find when we find that vintage chalk line in size extra large and in charge sf san francisco right there and that beautiful patchwork on the back 49ers we find that vintage mickey mouse Disneyland jacket with some of the Disney characters just squatting up and it was a steep 20 or 21 dollars but I couldn't pass it up because I really liked it a lot now I don't really rock H&M stuff but this one I had to have it is a gray sweatshirt with that basketball pressed against the chest this thing is not printed that basketball is like 3d pretty sick if you ask me another random one is that California the Golden State sweatshirt that California is just stitched across the chest in that gold stitching. And this piece is just super gnarly because we just see that floral pattern all over that California CA. Next up is that gray, black, and orange Tommy Hilfiger jacket we found. There are three M hits across the jacket. Here's the tag, it is a size medium. We thrifted that for 10 bucks. This sweater is official. It reads official, positive attitude, Mickey Mouse. We thrifted that for only $9.95, 10 bucks. Now, before we end it off, let's talk about some of the Laker pieces we found. Live at the thrift, we found that Los Angeles Lakers leather jacket. It has this patch on both of the sleeves. Lakers in the front, in that furry material. And that huge Lakers patchwork on the back. Los Angeles Lakers. Now, last but certainly not least, we found that the vintage Los Angeles Lakers world champs jacket from 1980 i mean just check out that thick stitching though peep the date you see it 1980 as a laker fan that i am you guys should have seen my reaction up there in the thrift store i was going crazy this thing was just too awesome to pass i had to get it definitely one of the cooler finds i ever found at the goodwill <laughs> all right i know it was really long but i hope you guys enjoyed this thrift vid so comment, like, rate, and hit that subscribe because these videos are coming at you live.
and y'all know the motto all day long we gotta keep that thrift game strong mm. <laughs> all right thanks for watching peace